with Marching on Physiotherapy and this is our fifth video in our low back pain series. Today what I want to do is talk to you about the glutes. The glutes are a big muscle group in the bottom that are really important for keeping our spine supported and controlling the rotation of our pelvis. So we're going to cover a few exercises today. Firstly in standing, uh, doing some squats and some lunges and then coming down onto the mat. We're going to use the soft ball um, just to help um, recruit some of those difficult muscles to get working in our bottom. So we're going to start first in standing. And I'm going to come into a standing position with my feet hip width apart. I'm going to open through those collarbones and have that lovely posture through the spine up into the head. My weight is equally placed between the big toe, little toe and the heel in the foot and equally placed left to right. So coming into some squats, I want to think about keeping the knees over the second toe and I'm going to reach forward with my hands and then coming back up to straight. So with this exercise, you want to think about getting those glutes working, those bottom muscles kicking in so you want to push up through the heels and as we come up to straight, just squeezing the cheeks of the bum together. They can be a little bit realistic, uh, uh, the, the glutes can be a little bit reluctant to work. So let's do another two of these. And now we're going to move into our lunges. So with our lunges, we want to step back with one leg. And we're going to drop that back knee down towards the floor. We're still keeping up nice and straight within the spine and the head nice and tall. I'm going to fold forward from that hip crease and you can have your hands on your hips and you want to drop that knee down towards the floor and straighten up. As we straighten up, the glutes on the back leg kicking in, doing some work. Good. And that folding forward from that front hip just encourages that hip flexor at the front to switch off. Good. Let's do one more and swap over. Reaching back with the other foot. This exercise is also a bit of a balance challenge. So you need to get your balance. I'm going to fold forward from that front hip again. Dropping that knee down towards the floor, straightening up. Good. So I'm aiming for about 10 on each side. I'm going to do two more. Lovely. Okay. So I'm going to come down into line on my back on the mat and then I'm going to think about doing my shoulder bridge exercise. So the shoulder bridge is a lovely exercise to mobilise the spine but it also works the glutes. So you have your feet hip width apart, you want to find that start position with the pelvis, switch those tummy muscles on arms down by your side. Let's start off, normal shoulder bridge, flattening the back, healing up, opening up through those hips and then back down. So you might feel it's a little bit more comfortable to take the towel out from underneath your head. The choice is yours, flattening the back, healing up, breath into hold, and back down. So if we've got a soft ball, you can pop that between your knees. It makes the glutes a little bit easier to switch off. So you flatten and peel and then back down and back to your start position. So we're coming up on the out breath, breath into hold and then back down. And as you reach the top of that movement, you can just feel those glutes, those bottom muscles, 
Starting to kick in. Good. I'm going to do two more. Just making sure that your feet are equally balanced, big toe, little toe, and heel. Lovely. Okay, so then we're going to come into side lion. So I'm going, going to grab my towel back, come into my side lion position, and there's two very good exercises in this position that really work the glutes. The first one, called the clam, is working on the glute med, which is the one just behind the hip bone. And you want to have your feet, bum, shoulders all lined up against the back of the mat. And then you want those um, hips, knees and feet all stacked. You want to find that start position with the pelvis, switching those deep tummy muscles on. And then get a little bit of length through that top hip. From this position, we're keeping the feet together and we're just opening with that top knee into our clam. And what you want to feel is that little muscle just behind the hip bone there starts to do some work. So you can pop your, your thumb on there just to see if that's firing up. Good. So let's do a couple more. Lovely. Okay, so the side kick is a nice exercise to do with the softball, but you can do it without if you don't have a ball. You pop the ball just behind your knee and hold it in place with the calf and the hamstring. With this one, we want to fold forward from the hip, folding forward from that hip crease, keeping that knee parallel to the floor, and then take that leg all the way back through that range of movement, getting some nice extension through the hip, come back forward. So with this exercise, we're really thinking about that glute max, that big muscle at the back, and we want that to start working as we take that leg into our hip extension. If you drop the ball, it doesn't matter. It just means that the hamstrings are trying to do a little bit of the work that the glutes should be doing. So as you get more experience to do this exercise, you'll be able to keep that ball in place easier. So I'm going to do two more. Lovely. And drop that down. Perfect. So we're going to swap over onto the other side. So I'm taking my towel to the other end of the mat, coming back into my clam start position, bring that arm long underneath my towel, feet, bum, shoulders all lined up against the back of the mat, find that start position with the pelvis. I've got that muscle just behind the hip there that we want to really encourage to work. So feet together, Breath in to prepare, open that top knee, and then back. So we're keeping the hips nice and stacked, the pelvis stays nice and still. Good. So if you're struggling to get that muscle to do some work, you can straighten those legs out a little bit. That can encourage the muscle to fire up. And the other option is you can pop a pillow between your knees and that just makes that exercise a little bit easier. And that can be a great way to start encouraging that glute med to do some work. Okay, let's do one last one. So let's grab that soft ball, come into our side kick, lifting that leg to hip height. You want to fold forward, knee towards your chest, folding at that hip flexor, and then take that leg all the way back through that range of movement, getting a little bit of stretch through the front of the hip, but you're keeping the back nice and still. So the out breath as you come forward, the in breath as you take that leg back. Good. 
good. This is a lovely exercise for recruiting the glute max. Going to do one more, taking that leg back. Great. Okay, so I'm going to come up into sitting now and do some stretches. So we're looking at our glutes, glutes stretches in sitting. You want to be up nice and tall, straighten one leg out, bring the other leg across and place the opposite arm on the opposite thigh. And then you want to twist. And just hold that there. And then we'll swap over. Place that arm across and twist. Good. So holding that stretch for between 10 and 30 seconds. And then back. And then we're going to tuck one leg in. And just reach down the opposite leg. And you can feel as you come down that there's a stretch in the hamstring. This may be a stretch in the opposite side of the back and then a stretch in the glutes. So holding that again between 10 and 30 seconds and then swap over onto the other side. Reaching down. Feel if there's a difference between the stretches left to right. Good, and then I'm going to come back up into standing. And then for today's top tip, if you do have pain um, in the low back while you're walking or standing, a lovely tip is to think about tucking the tailbone under and just squeezing the cheeks of the bone together. And then that can take the pressure off the spine and encourage those glutes to do some work. So I hope you enjoyed that video today and we hope to see you again next time for our next video. Thank you.